Hi, in the previous session we have seen how to calculate the mean, median and the mode, the three basic central tendencies. Now in this session we will be looking about the quartiles, the deciles and the percentiles. Now what is exactly the median? Median is the value which divides the data into two equal halves, right? So a quartile, quarter means one fourth. So the quartiles are the values which divide the data into four equal parts. So there are three quartiles Q1, Q2 and Q3 which are used to divide the data into four equal parts. The second quartile in fact is the median itself. Now we will have a simple example to understand how to calculate the quartiles for a discrete data. Suppose we have a set of values and we need to find the quartiles. Now first thing in finding the median what we used to do? We used to write the data in an ascending order. So we will write these in the ascending order. Now the quartiles can be calculated using these formulas. The Q1 can be calculated by n plus 1 by 4, the Q2 can be calculated as 2 into n plus 1 by 4 and third quartile 3 into n plus 1 by 4 where n is the number of observations. In this case the number of observations are 15. So Q1 comes out to be fourth term, okay. 4 is not the quartile, the fourth term is the quartile and which is the fourth term in the sequence that is 22. Hence the first quartile is 22. Exactly in the same way the second quartile that is the eighth term that comes out to be 27 and the third quartile that is 12 which comes out to be the 12th term is 35. So in this way the quartiles are calculated for a discrete data. Now we will look into how the quartiles are calculated if there is a group frequency data, huge data is given to us. Now we will take a look at this question. So this is the class interval that, which represents the number of marks and frequency represents the number of students who got that marks. Now remember what we used to do while calculating the median, we used to first calculate the cumulative frequency and calculate where n by 2 lies, okay, where the middle term lies. So exactly in the same way, we will be calculating the cumulative frequency, then we will be calculating where n by 4 lies, okay, the value of n is 70, the total of frequency is 70. So the value of n by 4 that comes out to be 17.5, the value 17.5. Now we have to check in the cumulative frequency where we cross the value of 17.5, that is in the third class, okay. So using that class for Q1. Now what was the formula for median can you recall? That was L plus H by F into N by 2 minus CF. So using the same formula just the factor n by 2 will be replaced by n by 4, okay. So we write the formula for q1, we know what is the l, l is the lower class limit of the class we have selected that is 55. Next what is the value of h, s is the class width, the class width is 5, f, f is the frequency of the class we have selected, 20 then the value of n by 4 which we have already calculated 17.5 and the value of cf that is cumulative frequency of the previous class which we have selected that is 10. So we can substitute all these values in this given equation and we can get the value of the first quartile, okay. Now calculating the second quartile is exactly the same process. In the place of factor n by 4 we need to calculate 2 n by 4, n by 4 because it is divided into 4 parts, it is a quartile and 2 because it is the second quartile. So we can cancel out and comes out to be n by 2 just as the case on the median, right. So that comes out to be 35. Now you can check the table for the cumulative frequency 35 crosses in the fourth class. So the value of L becomes 60, right. The lower class limit will be 60 this time. Now the formula for Q2, what do you think will change? Just that factor n by 4 gets replaced by n by 2. So we can substitute all the values from the table. The value of L is 60. The value of H and the value of H class width is 5. The frequency of the class we have selected now for Q2 is 25. The value of n by 2 is 35. The value of the cumulative frequency of the previous class comes out to be 30 and we can get the value of the second quartile and in fact it is also the median which is 61. 
and exactly the same way for calculating Q3 we need to calculate 3n by 4 and we can follow the same process and get the value of Q3 as 64.5. So this is how the quartiles are calculated. Now once you understand how the quartiles are calculated, we can now look at what are deciles and percentiles. Now decile, deca means 10, but deciles are the values which divide the data into 10 equal parts. So the process remains the same, just the factor instead of n by 4 will be using n by 10, we will be dividing into the 10 parts. Suppose we need to find the 6th decile, we will write 6n by 10 and so on. The rest all the procedure remains the same, the formula remains the same, just the factor n by 4 gets replaced by whatever decile we need to find. Suppose 7th decile gives you 7n by 10, okay. So let us look at the same example to find out the deciles and the percentiles. Now suppose we need to find the 7th decile that is D7. So we need to calculate the factor 7 into n by 10, 10 because we divide it into 10 equal parts and multiply by 7 because it is the 7th decile. So that comes out to be the 49th term. Now again in the column of the cumulative frequency the 49, the value 49 crosses in the 4th class. So we need to select the 4th class to calculate the 7th decile. The formula for D7 will be L plus H by F into 7n by 10 minus the cumulative frequency of the previous class Cf. Exactly in the same way. To, if we need to calculate the 35th percentile, the factor changes to n by 100 and into 35 because we need to find the 35th percentile. So P35 is 35 n by 100th term that is the 24.5th term. So to calculate the value of P35 we need to select the third class. Again the formula remains the same P35 will be equal to L plus H by F into 35 n by 100 minus CF. You can see in all the formulas just one factor changes depending upon what we need to find out. So this is how we find the quartiles, the deciles and the percentiles.